To configure our blog, we need to customize our WordPress theme. So simply log into your WordPress dashboard, then hover onto the appearance option on the left hand side and click customize. So here you have the options on the left hand side to configure the website. And on the right hand side you have the preview pane. So whatever changes we make in the left hand side will get reflected in the preview pane in the right hand side. So the first option is site identity. As you can see that our site title and tagline is displayed according to what was configured in the WordPress setup we did in the previous step. To change this simply write a new site title here and tagline and you can see that the preview pane has been updated the new site title and tagline is displaying right here and next we have the site icon option currently as you can see that the browser tab is not displaying any icon so we can upload that using this option make sure to upload a square image for site icon click skip cropping and you can see that the site icon has been uploaded and it is also displaying in the browser tab next we have is the upload logo option because currently our website is displaying the site title and the tagline you can leave it as it is but if you want to use a the logo then you can upload it using this option follow the exact same procedure now the preview pane has been updated and it is displaying the logo we have just uploaded so click publish to save the changes and to configure the rest of the options simply hit this back button right here next we have is the colors option currently as you can see that our website is displaying green colored element what if we want to change it to red color so let us start with the first one that is theme color I would like to make it red so simply change the color to red you can also use a custom color code if you have one and you can see that this color for this button element right here is changed to red next we have is the anchor color which is basically the color of these hyperlinks let us just change this to red and you can see that the color of the links has been changed but when we hover on these links it is still showing me the green color so to change that you need to click this anchor hover color button and I would like to make it a dark red color and when we hover now on the links you can see that the new color is now reflecting we can head over and publish changes next we have is the background image option if you want to add a background image to this blog then you can use this option but I would like to leave it as it is next we have general settings and these settings are really very important currently as you can see that our website or blog is displaying these secondary options in the left hand side and the main content on the right hand side but this is not the ideal layout we can change this using this home layout option and click right sidebar now our main content is shifted to the left hand side and the secondary options are shifted to the right hand side and this is the ideal blog layout which majority of blogs are using next we have blog pagination or navigation option by default it is pagination and this is also the ideal method of displaying content let me show you an example So this is digital with this blog you scroll down to the bottom you can see that these page numbers are displayed right here each page displays 10 blog posts and these pages make it really easy for the users to navigate through your blog so we can leave this option as it is and click publish let us go back 
and next we have social media settings here you can input the links of your social media accounts let me just input a few so this is digital with their facebook page link let me just copy this and paste it right here and also the twitter link let us just copy it and paste it here and the preview pane has been updated let us just scroll down and you can see that this facebook and twitter links are now appearing you can input the links for rest of the social media networks if you want but i would like to keep it as facebook and twitter for now simply click publish just wait for the settings to get saved and hit the back button next we have the footer settings currently as you can see that our footer segment is blank and if you need to add some copyright text right here you can add it using this option and to get a copyright symbol we can simply do a quick google search let us just type in copyright symbol and we can copy this symbol from here and we can just simply paste it here and now let us just input the ear and we can click publish hit the back button next we have menus as you can see that top section is displaying this option add menu because we currently do not have any menu assigned so to create that you can simply click create new menu you, we can name it as primary or whatever you want you have to select this option primary menu and click next here we can add items and we can add links to our pages we can select our home page and a default page that is created we can also add some posts but that is not required and after that we can click publish now you can see that the menu we just have created is displaying on the top of our website so simply hit the back button click back again and next we have is the custom css option which is required for experienced developers to make changes in the website elements we will not be covering this option and we have this widgets options so let us just click on this so these widgets are actually the secondary elements which are displayed on the right hand side you can shift them and also change the title if you want And you can see that the title of this particular widget has been changed and if you want to remove a few widgets then you can simply click on a particular widget and click remove and you can see that particular widget has been removed so let us just also get rid of this meta widget and click publish so now our blog has been completely configured and we can start adding content like blog posts and pages in our website so to get back to the dashboard you can simply click this cross icon